okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and of course you know i create amazing content on structural engineering and engineering design at large in case you are new to my channel you'll be having amazing tutorial videos and in a short while we'll be giving you all that you need to get better with structural engineering and um, today we'll be doing something simple and in the last few tutorial videos I showed to us how to design or how to model your structures particularly how to have different kind of foundations we've done tutorials on how to have your pad footing and how to have a raft or mat foundation and today I'll be taking us through how to have a pile foundation how you can run your pile foundation with put a structure and then i would like that you pay attention as we we'll together go through the process okay so this is um, the plan and i've told us uh, in our previous attempts to communicate the designs of product structure that um, your story oo is your foundation and um, having this one you want to ensure that your building analysis is up to date to run your foundation design so let's confirm this before we go ahead with our pile design and um, i have my analysis and this one actually shows that my building analysis is up to date so i can continue with my pile design okay so um, the first thing i want to do is to visualize my axial loads or my nodal loads on my columns so that i can be able to use these to either group my piles together or the columns to put similar piles um, apply similar pile designs to certain groups of columns that have similar loadings yes so um, what i do here is to just select my my dead load on factored and light load on factored that is what i want to use here okay so once you do that you have all your loadings all your loading so you may choose to begin to group them according to the loadings so that um, your piles at least the pile specifications or what it demands for your pile would vary and would be actually economical because you don't want to use e assuming this pile tells you this design gives you three piles under the pie cap and you don't want to use the same for something like this which maybe desires or demand rather uh, one pile under the pie cap so it will be a waste of resources having to use three pile cap, uh, three piles instead of one pile so that is why we want to work with the loadings and have our piles considering economy okay so let's go ahead with that also so i have this one 136 so i'm going to look for similar loadings then i find these also and um, i look for more okay and i find these two okay i look for more 133 185 okay so the idea is not to design excessively and it is totally unreasonable in terms of economy cost wise so i have this also and i have this also okay so so that is it and um, i can actually insert my pie cap like this now i am not done here because i have not actually done some preliminary settings for my pile design so i'm going to have a foundation setting before i can say i want to go ahead so all of these can be manipulated 
to suit your design procedure but for me i have nothing to to touch when it comes to this thing because all i'm saying here has to do with pad footing pad footing so but i want to design a pie cap okay so i am using a pie size of 600 600 assuming i'm using 600 now you don't design pile foundation or any other foundation without a soil report the essence of soil report is to tell you the soil bearing capacity that you as an engineer is to apply to provide a solution for your foundation that will suitably sustain your structure against failure or any form of um, issue okay so before you can lay ends on your design like this one you must have gotten a, a recommendation from your soil investigation so you begin to work with whatever it is that the investigation results to okay so i want to use a pie size of um, 600 and um, the pie length so the soil report will also tell you will also suggest to you the depth at which you go with your pie okay so i want to use um a depth of um 20 20 meters so i'm using a 20 meters depth for my pile and also the ultimate compression capacity is going to be given from the report from the soil report also you see how essential it is to work with a soil report else you will be going through an error okay so i want to use 0.75 yeah so i want to work with this for that so that's how important your soil report is to your foundation settings okay so with this one i have my pie cap depth minimum and maximum so for my minimum depth i want to use one meter minimum depth for my pie cap while i use 1.2 meters for my maximum depth of the pie cap okay so for um pile design the number of pile the minimum number of pile i want to work with is one then my maximum of course i can't use 100 for the maximum so i want to work with three as a maximum okay so you are the engineer and you should be able to oversee all the interrogations with your software okay so that's the beauty of the whole stuff so i'm done with this so let me check if there's anything to to work with around this nothing so i can actually press okay then i'll redesign all i'll redesign all so let's see what we have yeah okay so having redesigned all you see i have one two two one two 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 okay so let me see um the depth here you know i specified one meters so let me work with these one meters okay so one meters now in case you you make uh, an alteration on any of your pie cap then you can design selected pie cap so you can design selected and see what's the effect of your manipulation or your alteration on your design so it's still passed so i can i can just go ahead because i want one meters depth of my pie cap so I still go ahead I use this okay so this is it all passed and I have these on my foundation so let's see how it comes out so did you see the report so I have this okay so um there is something we need to look into in case you have solution um, issues like this you can see that 
these columns and this pie cap they are um, overlaying and it's not proper to have stuff like this so we we'll need to work reasonable around that reasonably around that so i'll show you how to do that the same is issue happens here but before i go ahead let me just show you one or two things and we will proceed we'll go ahead okay so let's let's do for some other so i have this and i have this okay so in case um let, let me go ahead to do some manipulation so i show you what other possibilities you can have with your pile design so let's go again let's go again with the properties so with the properties i can have the foundation design so with this foundation design let's see um if i'm designing with 600 pie size and i'm also having 30 meters length of pile as per the recommendation um from the story report so of course my ultimate compression capacity is going to to change so if it changes and the design suggestion is um 1072.7 if i have this then i press ok so let's design all and see what we have as touching this okay so so you see what we have here So you see the effect of your of your soil report on your design. This is your soil report has already helped you to know the capacity, the bearing capacity of your soil, and is given to you as a structural engineer to come with a result with a solution to sustain your building to transmit safely the load of your building into the bearing strata. So please always work with your soil report if you want to avoid error okay so i can actually work with other columns having shown to you how to do that and um i told you also that you need to group with with um loadings if you want to minimize cost so please always do that i showed you that already so let me go ahead with my design so i select every other column Okay, so I can write this. Okay, so I can insert my pie cap. So when I do, then I would go to the settings again, like I showed to you, so that I can have my settings in place. So it's still in place. So I've confirmed that nothing has changed, and I can move ahead. Okay, so I I want to design all. I want to design all so let's see what the result would be okay so I have my report already so so let's see what we have and it's just as simple as this it's just as simple as this once you're able to work with your soil report and you have your solutions on pile so simple as this so let's see what it is that we have so see this is our solution with pile so this is it you have your pile designs with product structure very easy very easy so in case you have any questions on how to have your pile designs with product structure do well to use your comment section and i'll be there to reply you and give you all that you need to get better thank you very much i am joshua the designer your accurate designer that gives amazing content on structural engineering please do well to like this video subscribe to the channel and share with your friends that should get better thank you